Hello everybody! Do you like to use a hero that looks like a lolly because you are a lollicon but is technically legal? Or do you want to use a hero that has lost a community love triangle? Or do you want to use a hero that has CC because your tanks doesn't have CC? I'm looking at you Uranus with your fighter emblem spell vamp. If your answer is yes, then grab that corrosion site and slap those bitches from far away. This is Assassin and you're watching Ruby, the Honest Guy. Ruby is an annoying fighter like no other. She got that hard CC, damage, and sustain. Like, you're just trying to kill them and then boom, they turn around the battle with their fucking lifesteal and make you lose the match and eventually the game. Ruby's passive is freaking one one stole my passive. When Ruby uses a skill, she can dash in any direction using the joystick. And when she dashes, she can stack with physical and magical defense. This stacks up to 3 times maximum. Also, Ruby comes repay with 5% spell buff. And the lifesteal she gains from emblems and items will be converted into spell buff. This is good with my claws because it gives more lifesteal than Bloodless X spell buff. Ruby's first skill is called Get Away From Me Perverts Double Bitch Lap. As a young adult, Ruby needs to protect herself from pesky perverts. Drag the skill to a direction to bitch slap the enemies who are trying to get your ass. The slap is so powerful that a shockwave replicates the slap. In wave form, dealing damage and slowing the perverts down. Ruby's second skill is called Ruby's favorite anime is Beyblade, I guess. Who the fuck made this script? Oh yeah, me. So she likes to feel what a Beyblade is like for some reason. She spins her corrosion sight in a 360 degree fashion. And enemies are amazed by this dance move, stunning them in place. Ruby's third skill is the cooler hook. Ruby enlarges her weapon and hooks all the bitches in the fan shape area, pulling and stunning them near you. And you don't have to care with minions that are in the way, just as long as the enemy is in the area you can pull them with your weapon. The hook is so good that Franco needs to run for his money. Now you know how to play the Red Riding Hood. It is time for some tips and tricks. For emblem set, I only recommend fighter emblem. Put points on physical attack, physical penetration, and spell fam. For that yummy lifesteal. For bell spell, I only recommend flicker for that ulti hook combo. For item set, use these. Warrior boots for that early defense. Endless battle for the spell fam. True damage and mana. My claws because they give more spell vamp for Ruby than Bloodlust Axe. Wings of Valid for that undying anti bursting lifestyle bullshit passive. Athena Shield for that shield and magic defense. Or if your enemies decided to pick all marksmen, use Breastplate for that physical defense. And Immortality to have that second chance to soak your enemies HP. At the start of the game, Go solo, top, and buy the boots. Don't care about the red buff because your cancer needs it. Just dance with the minions and jungle monsters and enemies until you get to level 4. When your main damage dealer is waiting for that kill steal, dance with your enemies and wait until he gets the kill. If there's a team fight happening near you, go there to do the next pro gamer move. Play with your prey. Try not to get greedy and just play with them. Keep harassing the enemy to tell them that the tables have turned. Dance with your enemies and show them your dance moves. And you will achieve greatness and always remember. I've been playing her since she was free. This is Hashashin and you've watched Ruby the Honest Guy. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more and as always. FBI should be knocking this door any minute now.